Hey there guys, you're watching Code Lab. Welcome to another episode in the 5 Minute Friday series and in this episode we're going to be looking at the opacity property in CSS. So we're inside VS Code guys and inside the body here you can see I have a div with a class of container which has three images inside of it which you can see here in the browser. So it's all the same image but they all have a individual class for themselves. So they've got dog one, two and three. Now inside the internal style sheet here, you can see I've just given some general style to the images as well as the heading and use Flexbox to lay this all out. Now in regards to the opacity property, this basically just specifies the transparency of an element and can take a value from zero to one, one being non-transparent, which is the default. And the lower the value you go, the more transparent it gets. Now currently right now, all the classes or all the images have an opacity of one. So that's why we can clearly see them all. Now what we can do for the dog two is just make this half transparent saying 0.5 and then if we want to make it completely transparent for dog three i'm just going to put a value of zero and you can see here in the browser it completely disappears and it's completely transparent now what we we'll do is actually just make this 0.2 so you can see it a little bit and that's essentially how the opacity values work now the cool thing about the opacity is that coupled with a pseudo class of hover you can create some pretty cool effects so to demonstrate that what i'm going to do is just make all of these half transparent and then I'm just going to uh, create a class of dog one, apply the hover class here, and then I'm just going to use the opacity of one. And then I'm just going to apply this for dog two as well as uh, dog three here. So dog three and dog two. Now at the moment you can see we've applied a half transparency to them, but when we hover over them, they're no longer transparent and you can see it creates a pretty cool effect. Now, of course, the opacity property doesn't just apply to images. We can pretty much use it on anything we like, but some of the more common uses would be on boxes, which are text inside of it. So to demonstrate that, I'm just going to get rid of all this style in here and I'm going to uh, close this off and I'm going to remove the images. And inside here, I'm just going to have a box, a div with a class of box, and I'm going to put a paragraph tag with just some dummy text inside of it. So it should appear here in the browser in the center. Now I'm going to go inside the style sheet and grab the container class and I'm just gonna give this a background image of that dog image. So uh, URL IMG image one, and then just apply a few more styles here so we can see the both the dogs. So center, center, and then cover. So now we can both see the dogs. Now I'm gonna grab that box class, and I'm just gonna give this a border uh, of, let's say solid two pixels black. So we can now sort of see a border around the text there. Give this a bit of padding too. So let's say 30 pixels, so a bit of space. And then let's just give this a border radius of about 30 pixels too. It makes it more rounded. And then uh, let's also make the text a bit bigger. So font size 1.5 rem. So you can see now the text is a little larger. Now what I'm gonna do is apply a background color of white to this. So I'm gonna say background uh, color let's give it the color of white and you can see now we have a box in front of the image and um, which has some text in the middle but let's just say for example we wanted the um, box here to be a bit more transparent so we can see the dogs what we do is use the opacity so we'll just say opacity 0.5 now you can see it becomes more transparent but the immediate issue you can see here is that the text is also becoming transparent and the reason this is happening is because when we apply the opacity property here to uh, this box all the child elements directly inside of it also inherit the same transparency. That's why the text now is uh, transparent as well as the background color. Now we can easily fix this using RGBA. So instead of just putting opacity here, instead of the background color just being white, we can use RGBA and then just change all these values to 255, 255, and then 255 for the blue. And then this alpha here is the opacity value. So let's just apply a 0.5 here. Now, as you can see, we get that exact same outcome as we did before when we applied the background color of white, but now the text isn't transparent, just the background color. So now we can see the dogs and we can see the text. So a pretty cool effect. And this is what you'll most likely see the opacity used on. And that's gonna be it for this video, guys. So a pretty simple concept to understand, but can be very helpful in some aspects of your projects. Now, if you guys like the content, please hit the like button and please consider subscribing as it will make me just as happy as these two dogs you see on the screen now. And I'll see you guys next time on the 5 Minute Fridays episode.